Okay, we're, today we're here with Kimmy. We're going to test out her shoulder, which she's just aggravated. Um, she's got the signs of a label tear, so where the part of that capsule is pulling away from the socket, and I'll test it out. Um, she was really good. She was doing our shoulder class. She was doing very well, and then she just raised her arm up to lift up, and she's gone aggravated. So what we're going to do is an O'Brien's test, which we just come across her body and rotate it down. Now at this point here, she's not going to like this very much. She just push up for me. Yeah, see that look on her face, that pain face? She doesn't really like that. She's got some strength though, but so it's not completely torn away or anything like that. She's got some power there, but she doesn't really like it. And you'll notice, if you go, come, come if you go thumbs up, go all the way to the top, where do you feel that? It's starting to feel it from there. From there. So she's got like a type of impingement, but it's actually where that where the ball rolls through and it stress loads through that label part where it's got some aggravation. So we're going to have a look at that. If you have a line your back for me, what we need to do is make sure she stabilizes. So she needs to do a lot of rotator cuff or scapular stabilization work. But she, um, if we, if she's too tight the back of the capsule, so when we get here, come around and have a look at this. If we, if she's too tight in the back of the capsule, you imagine like the, the capsule, the sockets here and the ball sits here. If she's going to rotate this way. If she's too tight at the back of the capsule, the ball will rotate forward and where that labral tear is up in here, it'll stress load it. So if you watch how much range I've got in this shoulder, I'll put her back here and she'll get to the point where she's, she should get to 90 degrees but she's not really getting there. She doesn't really like that too much and there's a lot of tension there where the body's fighting it. If I put her into what we call an AP direction, so pushing her humeral head down into the joint, which is actually centering it, which is actually nice and snug in there, she'll actually be able to get back quite a lot further because she's not irritating the front part or the top part of that labrum. But as we test it, if you look at this, when we get to here, when we get to this point here, if I pull up, she is really wincing in that. So this is where we call an apprehension test. Now, a lot of the time you can do this for dislocations, shoulder instability. So she does have some shoulder instability, um, but it's a very minor slap test. She doesn't really like it. When I pull her here, she feels like I'm going to pull her arm out of the socket. So we've got to make sure that her posterior capsule and all the rotator cuff at the back is nice and loose. It can't be tight because if that's too tight, it's going to just push that humeral head forward and stress load it through there, give her a lot of pain, make it shut down and make it even worse. The other thing we've got to do is work on her rotator cuff, get a lot of strengthening work done to stabilize that ball because remember, the, job of the, the primary job of the rotator cuff is to center that ball in the socket and keep it centered as she rotates her arm. So as she's moving around, that's got to stay centered, not going anterior, posterior, up or down, that sort of thing. Um, because if it does do that and it stresses over the structure that is damaged, it's going to hurt. Right? So a lot of rotator cuff work, which she's doing in our shoulder class, but also a lot of scapular stability as well. Because if her scapula is not sitting in the right direction when she rotates, rotates her arm, especially if the scapula doesn't abduct out enough, she's going to come up and jam the shoulder if that shoulder blade is not moving out. Okay, so that's your slap tear testing and showing you just a little bit of instability of what happens. So big things to remember is making sure that the back part of the joint is loose enough, okay, so the shoulder can sit, stabilize, sit in the socket and then stabilization work done for the shoulder to try and improve her control and keep it centered every time she raises her arm above it. All right, so we've uh, loosened Kim's shoulder up now, done a bit of physio treatment on it. We've loosened up the back part of the capsule. We've also come in from the front, loosened up the subscap. I've actually taped it up, so you can see I've got uh, some taping here for a supraspinatus and infraspinatus. That's just going to help activate that joint a little bit better, so she gets centered in the socket now. So what happens now, she's had a bit of loosen up, she's had that tape on. When she raises her arm above her head again, you see she comes up, she's missing that in pain of impingement at that point there and she's got a bit of a jamming at the top now. So she's got a bit more range. We're gonna work on getting that last bit of range better with some strengthening work. Down again for me, Kimmy. So she's just feeling a little bit better through there now. If I just hand you over to Kimmy. So just to recap on this, remember a label tear, what she's got is, a, is early signs of a small label tear where if you think about that ball in the socket, the shoulder socket is like the hip socket, but you've just got a lot less bone covering it. So the shoulder socket bone area it's actually quite a shallow dish. So if you look at your anatomy, it's actually a shallow dish. And it's designed so the rest of the joint is made up of soft tissue of labrum. Okay, so it, labrum and, and capsule. So that allows heaps more movement. Okay, so 
whereas the, the hip joint needs lots of bone to, for the control because we're landing on it. We need way more movement with the shoulder joint, so it's made up of soft tissue. Now that means it can move a lot more. All right. Now with Kim's one, she did it when raising her arm out to, to lift something up. You can do it by, if you lift a, a boot of the car and you raise your hand like that, it's like sublux. A lot of time this happens from a repetitive overhead work. So people doing a lot of overhead work and the ball just gets rammed up in the socket all the time. When it fatigues, it can start reefing that capsule away from the bone over a long period of time. These things happen over a long period of time. When they happen over a short period of time, it's usually when someone falls on their arm. So they might be snowboarding or, or in rugby and they, they land on their arm and actually rams it up. And sometimes they can dislocate the shoulder. So what ha can happen, especially with Kim, is when she raised her arm up, she did a little bit of a sublux. So it came up and it actually just moved in the joint a little bit too much because of that instability aggravated that current little problem she's got in that tear and that's what we're working on all right so it's when you're not thinking about it. it's when you're sort of raising your arm up and that's when you can get that subluxation that instability type feeling and she got a bit of a clunk and now it's a bit grindy in there and that's what we're going to work on to try and stabilize that get that shoulder ball sitting in the socket get her rotator functioning so it holds there because she's got to make up for the fact she's got a little tear a little bit of a gap and a little bit of movement in that shoulder if the tear got any bigger, she'd be off for surgery to try and repair that. Um, but the moment she's not really in that category, we've got to try and get her strong enough. So she's she's got she's got a tear in her shoulder. We've got to get her strong enough to balance that out to keep that ball socket to make up for that difference. That her joint has changed a bit. We need to get her super strong, get that ball sent in the socket every time she moves her arm, and so good that she doesn't have to think about it when she reaches for something, reaches up high, does the press work that um, it's not going too much anteriorly or too much um, upwards, um, it doesn't aggravate that current problem. Okay.